Hey folks, Tech with AOK -OK Foraging Adventures, and today I found a nice goodie that I'm gonna show you guys. So what did I find? I found some false Solomon seal. My, my wife's doing the camera work for me today, guys. So, best characteristics of a false Solomon seal. See the droop. See the nice veins. It's green, deep. So, when you pick it, you want to go all the way down here. Just like that. But the prize is when they're just little shoots like this. And they taste just like <laughs> they taste just like asparagus to some people. Um, and actually, we do cook it with asparagus. Uh, they are good for rheumatitis, and they are good for headaches. Um, now, the, but you gotta remember the blah blah blah. So they're good for rheumatitis and headaches, but you can only eat the stalk and the leaves. You cannot eat the roots. The roots are poisonous, but back in the olden days, they used to throw the roots onto a fire uh, and um, inhale the smoke for headaches. So let's take this and we'll cook some up. To cook up these false Solomon seals, now I already rinsed them, so they're nice and clean. You should always clean them in the wild because of the animals and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna, now I'm just gonna cut them up, just like that. Put them in this bowl here that I have my, I have some jalapeno uh, sausage and some bell pepper already cut up. But anyways, I'm taking off the, the thick stock so it's not so chewy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. So, cut up the rest to bite-sized pieces. Then I'm gonna show you what I'm doing next. All right? So in here I have a pot of boiling hot, well not hot, but ramen noodles. I'm just going to put everything that I just cut up in there. Oh, yeah. And, mm, uh, uh, uh. as you can see, it's wilting down. So it doesn't make a lot. Mm -hmm. Put my seasoning packet. So this is just the way to eat ramen. Another way to eat hot, I mean, uh, ramen noodles with my wild edibles. All right, so it is done. Shut it off. Now, I personally, folks, like Tabasco sauce in mine. And when you're camping, you get these to go little things. Because Tabasco has vinegar in it, which is really good with wind. Most most wild greens taste really good with vinegar, so mm-hmm. All right, folks, look at that. Beautiful, huh? All right, I'm gonna take a taste. Oh, it's hot. Mm. So awesome. So there you go, folks. Hey, taste tester, do you want to try it? She's not trying it today. But thank you for filming. And folks, try this recipe. It does have a little bit of an asparagus taste with a hint of bitterness in it. I like bitter. So, until next time, folks, may all your adventures be A-OK. -okay.